Hello and welcome to Reviews of Ryan, and today we talk about the brand new horror comedy film Studio 666. This film was directed by B.J. McDonald, and he's done films like Hatchet 3, and he's also done the music videos for the metal band Slayer. And if you like movie reviews and Blu-ray hauls, you're in the right spot, hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, and comment below what are your thoughts on Studio 666. And now without further ado, let's rock and roll. Studio 666 is about legendary rock band Foo Fighters. They're in this mansion and they're going to record their 10th album. And the film stars Whitney Cummings, the Foo Fighters themselves, and Jeff Garland. I watched the trailer for this film and I honestly thought to myself after watching the trailer, this really looks like a really awful film and just kind of something that they're kind of dumping into theaters. And honestly, this film is really bad. But the positives that I will say about this film is I really thought the kills in this film, they're pretty creative. I thought that there is plenty of gore to behold in this. So if you're into that, that is really good. And then of course, I really like rock and metal music. So that is really good about the film in a nutshell. But really, that's really where my positives really end about this film. The biggest thing with this film is the acting. I thought the acting was really bad in this. Not that I expected top-notch acting, but it really fails in this. None of the Foo Fighters can act in this, and really nobody does a good job in this. They're all playing themselves, and they really just, they try to make it kind of like a comedy kind of film with some of these lines, but I really didn't laugh in this film. I had a little bit of fun time with the kills, and I really enjoyed that part, but I thought that when they do these kills, they're so spread out that the film just feels really long, and it really feels like they definitely could have shortened this film to probably 90 minutes, even at the Netflix runtime of like a Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I would have been fine with that, but I think that this film is just entirely too long, and it just really can get really kind of boring at parts, and I don't know, I just wasn't really that excited in this film. I thought that there was some really cool parts. There's this really cool part in the basement where the lead singer, he does get possessed. I thought that was kind of a really cool, scary kind of part. I wasn't really ever scared in the film. I thought that the little ghost that they had in this film they played a part obviously into why they were in this film so they did explain that towards the end of the film but for the most part i really just didn't really care much for this movie it definitely was cheap to make and it's very obvious throughout this film i think it's going to vary with people on how they perceive this film because if you're usually watching films that are kind of films where they're kind of campy this film kind of has it and i also think that people that really like cheesy kind of horror films they'll really dig this i'm not personally into those kind of films so this film is definitely not for me but i wanted to give the film a benefit of the doubt and at least check it out and i like the foo fighters music as we haven't really seen this ever on screen and i was just really interested to see what they would do in this film but it just didn't really do a whole lot for me Overall, for me, this film just didn't really work. I really felt that the kills in this, they're really good. I thought they were very practical. I really like rock and metal music. And also, Jenna Ortega, she has a little cameo in this. She was from Scream, if you remember. It's only like a minute and a half. But other than that, I really don't really like anything else about this film. It really misses the mark for me. It's really not my thing. I do think that people that like cheesy kind of films like... I don't know, I feel like if I found this film and never had heard of it, I really feel like this is the type of film that you would pick up in the Dollar Tree and kind of watch it for the heck of it and get some laughs out of it. It's not for me and I gave it a chance and gave it a shot, but overall it doesn't do much for me. Thank you guys for watching this review and I'll see you guys on my next one.